Legend tells of a legendary channel whose character builds were the stuff of legend. They scoured the internet for worthy builds. But enough intro. Let's build. Amidst the tranquil beauty of the Valley of Peace, where the breeze carries whispers of ancient legends, we find our unlikely hero, a panda, with dreams as vast as the horizon and a stomach that knows no bounds. But hold on to your dice, because today, we're venturing into a world where kung fu meets critical fails. His journey is about to unfold in a tale seasoned with humor, courage, and a dash of soy sauce. So grab your dice, roll for initiative, and get ready for the epic adventures of Kung Fu Panda on Natural One. Wait, wait. It's just plain old noodle soup? You don't add some kind of special sauce or something? Don't have to. To make something special, you just have to believe it's special. To get this fun-loving panda going, we're going to need stats. Let's dive into the essential ingredients that make our Kung Fu Panda a force to be reckoned with. Starting strong with a constitution of 15, Poe's stomach is practically a black hole for dumplings, and he can take a beating like a champ. Whether it's absorbing blows from Tai Lung or surviving intense training sessions with Master Shifu, Poe's constitution is a key ingredient in his recipe for resilience. Moving on to Wisdom, where Poe scores a respectable 14. Despite his quirky exterior, our noodle-loving hero possesses a deep well of wisdom. Next in line, Dexterity, a nimble 13 for our Kung Fu Panda. Don't let his round physique fool you. Poe can move with surprising agility. Now let's talk about Charisma, a charismatic 12 for a lovable panda. Poe's infectious personality and love for noodles make him a heart for the Valley of Peace. Strength comes in at a solid 10. Poe may not be lifting mountains, but when destiny comes knocking, he's got the muscle to answer. Intelligence, it's an 8. Let's be honest, when you, as a panda, believe your father is a duck, you might not be topping the class in ancient scrolls and philosophies. There's a saying, yesterday is history, tomorrow is a mystery, but today is a gift. That is why it is called the present. Now that we've seasoned our character with stats, let's stir in some race flair. Poe's lineage is as unique as his noodle recipes. Poe belongs to a special lineage, the custom panda blend. It's not every day you encounter a kung fu master who's also a panda. With a plus two bonus at constitution, Poe's panda lineage grants him a sturdy build. And let's not forget the dark vision. Pandas can navigate the darkest alleys with ease. Now, let's sprinkle in a flavorful feat. Chef! Because when you're a kung fu panda, you've got to be a culinary maestro too. This feat not only adds plus one to Poe's constitution, but also enhances his culinary skills. It's like giving a nod to the unsung hero behind the noodle pot. Every hero needs a background, and Poe's is as heartwarming as a bowl of hot noodles. He's a folk hero, pretty simple. From saving the Valley of Peace to rescuing kittens stuck in trees, Poe's deeds have earned him the title of a true folk hero. I stayed because every time you threw a brick at my head or said I smelled, it hurt. But it could never hurt more than it did every day of my life just being me. At level 1, Poe takes his first steps on the path of Kung Fu mastery. He starts with a level in Druid, embracing the harmony of nature and Kung Fu. Poe's signature move, the Ground Pound, a mini skadoosh if you will, is represented by the Thunderclap cantrip. And for those moments when he's cooking noodles, Poe can whip up a bonfire with Create Bonfire. Who knew Kung Fu and cooking had so much in common? Purify food and drink ensures that even his noodles are free from contaminants. Good berry, because when you're a Kung Fu master, you need a snack that packs a punch. Did you know that one of these is good enough for a whole day? Well, neither does Poe. That explains all the missing rations. And lastly, Thunder Wave, a burst of energy that mirrors Poe's explosive Kung Fu moves. As Poe's Kung Fu journey continues, he takes a detour into Monk at level 2, honing his combat prowess. Poe's newfound agility shines with the monk's unarmored defense. Who needs armor when you can rely on a well-padded belly? Martial arts makes Poe a true master of combat styles. He wields monk weapons with finesse, or as he calls it, dancing with dumplings. Lastly, Poe learns his bonus belly strike, making an additional unarmed strike as a bonus action. It's not just about kung fu, it's about the belly foo. Poe's journey continues as he unlocks the power of ki. Level 3 brings forth a union of noodles and mysticism with monk level 2. Poe harnesses the mystic energy of Ki, represented by a pool of key points. Flurry of Blows, Patient Defense, and Step of the Wind become his new tools, each unleashing a different aspect of his noodly might. Poe's speed increases by 10 feet with unarmed movement as well. His agile movements leave opponents in awe, wondering if they just saw a blur of noodles run by. Guess what? With Monk level 3, Poe can now pull off some serious kung fu movie moves. He's learned to deflect missiles, turning ranged attacks into a game of catch. Better not try to shoot any cannonballs at him now, I'm looking at you, Lord Shen. But wait, there's more to Poe than just punches and kicks. By tapping into his inner panda key, Poe can now mend wounds with a touch. Healing hands, they call it. It's a panda version of chicken soup for the soul. 
At level 5, our Kung Fu Panda takes a leap to monk level 4, unlocking more potential than ever before. Poe's agility reaches new heights. Ever seen a panda fall gracefully from a great height? Uh, neither have we. But with slow fall, Poe can absorb that fall anyway, reducing falling damage like a Kung Fu feather drifting to the ground. If that feather was a 260 pound bear. And let's not forget quickened healing. Poe channels his inner chi, spending key points to regain health in the blink of an eye. It's like slipping down a bowl of noodles. Quick, satisfying, and ready for another round. And because we believe in keeping our Dragon Warrior in top shape, Poe invests his hard-earned points in Constitution. That's right, FD plus 2 con bonus. Poe's becoming a tougher nut to crack, and his enemies are starting to take notice. Buckle up, fellow adventurers, because at level 6, our roly-poly hero Poe is taking the path of Monk level 5 to new heights. First on the menu, Poe unlocks the power of Extra Attack. It's like adding an extra swirl to your bowl of noodles. More hits, more satisfaction. Picture Poe's furry paws moving in a blur as he unleashes a flurry of strikes, leaving enemies wondering if they're facing a one panda army. But wait, there's more. Poe adds a secret ingredient to his combat style, Stunning Strike. With a mere touch, he can disrupt the flow of key in his opponent's body. Spending a key point, Poe attempts a Stunning Strike, forcing the target to make a constitution saving throw. Fail, and they're left stupefied, caught in the mesmerizing dance of our kung fu maestro. It's not just a strike, it's a taste of the mystic power within our dragon warrior. Hold on your chopsticks, because at level 7, Poe dives even deeper into the mystical waters of Monk level 6, unlocking techniques that blur the lines between healer and harmbringer. With the physician's touch, Poe becomes a true healer, mending wounds with a touch that transcends the physical. His hands of healing not only restore health, but also hold the ability to spell afflictions, blindness, deafness, paralysis, poison, or stun. Poe's touch unravels them all, a dance of restoration in the midst of chaos. Yet, as master of the delicate art, Poe can also wield his knowledge to inflict harm, Hands of Harm, a necessary tool in the unpredictable tapestry of combat. A touch that introduces the poison sting to his adversaries, a reminder that even in healing, there lies the potential for harm. And let's not forget Poe's strikes, now key empowered at the 6th level. His unarmed attacks take on a magical essence, a manifestation of the extraordinary within the ordinary. Poe, the magical panda, strides forward, his very presence a blend of healing and mystical might. Ah, the plot thickens in our noodle-filled saga. Poe, the Kung Fu Panda, reaches new heights of awesomeness at level 8, Monk level 7. It's like discovering an extra scoop of noodles in your bowl, unexpected and oh so satisfying. Evasion enters the scene, turning Poe into a nimble dodger of danger. You throw a fiery blast his way? Nope. He's tanging as any good panda would. Combine that with dodging, ducking, and dipping, it's a panda dance off with danger. But wait, there's more. Stillness of mind arrives, letting Poe shake off charm and fear like water off his fluffy fur. No mind games can hold our dragon warrior back. He's got a mental fortitude stronger than the aroma of fresh dumplings. Ah, the saga of our noodle wielding hero unfolds further as Poe, the Kung Fu Panda, ascends to level 9, Monk level 8. This time, our level panda embraces a new feat, tough. As if Poe's resilience needed any extra layer, this feat not only fortifies his already robust constitution, but also adds a hearty dose of hit points to his pool. Now, Poe can endure blows that would leave others staggering. It's like reinforcing the fortress that is Poe's belly, making an even more formidable bastion against harm. At level 9 of Monk, Poe taps into newfound abilities, embracing the essence of his Monk training. With a swiftness that defies gravity itself, Poe gains the power of improved unarmed movement. Now, our level panic can traverse vertical surfaces and even skim across liquids during his turn without the worry of taking a tumble. At level 11 overall, Poe's journey takes a significant step forward as he attains the legendary Purity of Body feature. It's like he's reached the inner sanctum of Kung Fu Mastery, where his body becomes a fortress, impervious to disease and poison, just like the legendary Master Uwe. No more worries about catching a cold or falling victim to nefarious toxins. Poe's resilience is as solid as the Great Wall itself. You gotta let go of that stuff from the past, because it just doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is what you choose to be now. As a heroic panda delves deeper into the mysticism of Druid Magic, at level 12, he unlocks the awe-inspiring power of Starry Form, drawing inspiration from his legendary dragon form seen in Kung Fu Panda 3. Picture this, Poe, bathed in the ethereal glow of starlight, takes on the form of a celestial dragon, radiating power and wisdom. With each movement, he leaves trails of stardust, weaving through the heavens like a cosmic guardian. It's like he's become one with the constellations themselves, harnessing the raw energy of the cosmos to defend the balance of the world. In true Kung Fu Panda fashion, Poe adds another trick to his arsenal at level 13, the ability to communicate with creatures of the wild. With Animal Messenger, he can send messages through the animal kingdom faster than a flying kick from tigers. He can just grab a hold of any one of the ducks and have them warn about any potential prison breaks. That certainly can't go wrong. At level 14, Poe's wisdom grows like bamboo in the Valley of Peace. 
His keen insights and connection to nature deepen, allowing him to navigate the challenges ahead with the grace and wisdom of Master Shifu himself. This boost in wisdom not only enhances his druidic magic, but also strengthens his resolve to protect the balance of the world. At level 15, Poe unlocks the powerful Aura of Vitality. Picture this, a radiant aura surrounds our hero, infusing him and his allies with renewed vigor and vitality. It's like he's channeling the chi of the universe itself, empowering those around him with the energy of a thousand dumplings. With his ability, Poe becomes not just a fighter, but a beacon of hope and healing in times of darkness. At level 16, Poe unlocks the enigmatic power of Cosmic Omen. This ability allows him to consult the stars for guidance. With each dawn, Poe reads the signs written in the heavens, foretelling the fortunes of his allies and foes alike. It's like he's tapping into the cosmic wisdom of the universe, getting insights that guide his actions and shape the course of awesomeness itself. At level 17, Poe's journey takes a poignant turn as he delves deeper into the essence of resilience. While some adventurers might seek refuge in impenetrable stone walls, Poe finds strength in his own unyielding spirit. It's like he's channeling the legendary resilience of the Valley of Peace itself. With Poe's resilient spirit, he doesn't just endure damage, he embraces it, transforming each blow into a testament of his unbreakable will. But now, there's a new layer to his defense, a technique he's put up that he affectionately calls Stone Skin. It's not actual stone, that'd be too heavy. Instead, it's his way of toughening up even more, shrugging off blows like a stone skipping across a tranquil pond. At level 18, Poe's connection to the natural world deepens, and his senses become sharper than ever before. It's like he's tapped into the wisdom of the ancients, channeling the experience of the Valley of Peace. With Poe's heightened awareness, he becomes attuned to the subtle rhythms of the world around him. Every rustle of leaves, every whisper of the wind, carries with it a message, guiding him on his journey like the wise words of Master Ugwe. And let's not forget, Poe's wisdom grows even further, gaining a hefty plus two to his already impressive wisdom score. Plus, he picks up Guardians of Nature, giving him improved damage and speed. In the penultimate level of his journey, Poe gains access to the awe-inspiring Conjure Animal spell. With a flick of his paw, he summons forth the Furious Five themselves. From Tigress' ferocious spikes to Monkey's cunning tricks, Poe's allies stand by his side, ready to face whatever challenges come their way. Together, they form a bond stronger than steel, united in their quest to protect the Valley of Peace from all who would seek to do it harm. At long last, Poe reaches the pinnacle of his powers as he attains the legendary Summon Draconic Spirit spell. With a roar that shakes the heavens, he conjures forth the spirit of the ancient dragon, channeling its awe-inspiring might to smite his enemies and protect the innocent. It's like he's become a living avatar of the Dragon Warrior, wielding the power of fire and fury with the grace and precision of a true master. With Summon Draconic Spirit, Poe becomes a force of nature, a guardian of peace, and a beacon of hope in a world plagued by darkness. Oh, and he also gets Gus, because we couldn't resist a fart joke in a Kung Fu Panda video. Sue me. I'm not a big fat panda. I'm THE big fat panda. While the Dragon Warrior is a cool title, and much deserved by Poe, he's prone to a few mistakes as seen in the original Kung Fu Panda. Let's look at what he's mastered so far in his journey, and what he can still use a little bit of learning on. He's got unparalleled resistance. Poe's got a stomach that could rival a fortress, thanks to his impressive constitution score and the tough feet. His custom panda blend lineage and stone skin add more layers of durability, making him as tough as a bamboo stalk in a storm. He's also a master of combat styles. Poe's like a fusion dish of kung fu and nature magic, blending monk agility with druid spells. With his martial arts prowess, he can pack a punch, while his druid spells offer versatility in any situation. He's also super supportive. He's a good friend you want, but as a way of mercy monk, Poe's healing touch is more comforting than a bowl of hot noodles on a chilly day. Whether it's mending wounds or dispelling elements, he's got his allies back with his hands of healing and physician's touch features. Poe's connection to the cosmos shines bright like a constellation. With his starry form and cosmic omen, he's not just a fighter, he's a guiding light leading his comrades to victory with the wisdom of the stars. However, he does tend to take tumble down stairs a couple times. He's limited offensively in his magic. Poe's druid spells offer more support than firepower. While he can hold his own in a fight, he might struggle against foes who require a heavy dose of magical damage. He's also a jack of all trades, but a master of none. Poe's versatility is both a strength and a weakness. While he's skilled in both kung fu and nature magic, he doesn't reach the same level of expertise as specialists in either field. He's also key dependent. Poe's monk abilities rely on key points, which are like his magical fuel. If he runs low on key, he might need a nap in about 50 dumplings before he's ready to get back into the fight. And there you have it folks, Poe, the dragon warrior of the Valley of Peace, the original kung fu warrior, reimagined as a master of kung fu and nature magic in the world of Dungeons and Dragons. From his humble beginnings as a noodle-loving panda, to his epic journey mastering the ancient arts of druidry and monkhood, 
Poe's adversaries are as rich and flavorful as his favorite dumplings. With a belly full of resilience, a heart full of courage, and a mind attuned to the wisdom of the stars, Poe stands ready to face any challenge that comes his way, whether it's battling villainous foes or whipping up a delicious bowl of noodles for his friends. But before you go, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay updated on all of our latest character builds. Plus, if you want to get your hands on this build and more, they're all available for free on our Patreon page. So grab the sheet, grab your dice, roll for initiative, and join Poe on his quest for awesomeness in the mystical realm of natural one. Remember, the path to becoming a true Kung Fu master is paved with laughter, friendship, and maybe just a few critical fails along the way. Until next time, we'll catch you on the flip side. Skadoosh! Hear the legends of the Kung Fu Panda! Raised in a noodle shop, never seeking glory.